Okay, now let's talk about the nudge offset. The nudge offset is in this property bar here. If you mouse over here, it says nudge offset. So the default nudge offset in Corel Draw is 0 0.01 of an inch. That's really a very small uh, distance to nudge. Nudges were in, for example, I click on this square here, and I want to move this using my arrow keys. You know, in your keyboard, up, down, right, left, in your keyboard. I want it to move it here, right? So I click on that, and right now I'm moving it. It's very slow because the nudge offset is 0 0.01 of an inch. Now I can increase this. Say, for example, like. Like here's an example wherein my page width is 20 inches. So from here to here is 20 inches. Okay, 0 0.01 of an inch is fine if you're using 8 and a half by 11. But if you have like 20 inch width paper, right, and you want to move it using your arrow keys and your keyboard, uh, it's going to take a long time to reach over here or to move uh, an object. So I'm going to change that here to let's say every half an inch. So 0.5 of an inch here. Okay. So now you can see the difference right now. If I click on that and there. Okay. So you can always change the nudge distance to a bigger distance or smaller distance. Okay. If I go back to 0 0.01, which is the default, and I use my arrow key, it would take me a long time to reach to my destination, which is in here. Okay, so make sure to change this one. I can even change it to one inch. So I I move that one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. So those are one inch movement right now. You can go up, down, keyboard one inch. So everything is one inch movement, and that's in this nudge offset.